Hello and welcome to the Chance Report. I am Austin. After seeing how well one of my early videos about the dark side of communism has performed, I thought I should do a video about the dark sides of capitalism. Before we begin, I want to ask the question, what is capitalism? According to the Oxford Dictionary, capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state, which is far different than communism, where the state controls all aspects of life. One of the major draws that capitalism has is the ability of people to own private businesses and generate massive amounts of wealth with little influence from the government. This is also one of the darker sides of capitalism is that too much of it leads to an income gap between the rich and the poor. In the United States, which is highly capitalistic, a large income gap exists between the rich and the poor. According to Wikipedia, the earnings at the top 1% which includes people like Donald Trump, saw their wages increase by 13.2% in 2019, while the wages of regular workers have pretty much stayed the same. The reason for this increase of wages of the top 1% goes back to how capitalism is very different from communism and that in a true fully capitalist society, the state is ruled by the private industries of the rich with little government oversight. Historically, true capitalism did not value the rights of workers and allowed people to take advantage over the system. A historical example of an age of true capitalism is the Gilded Age in the 1870s which was an age of great transformation in the United States that in the beginning, like most nations, had a pretty basic economy that was primarily based on the export of agricultural products rather than a full-on industrial economy. As technology advanced and it became possible to extract new types of resources, this led to a powerful industrialist like John D. Rockefeller to create Standard Oil, which became a large company that began to buy up other oil startup companies. You also have George Pullman, who created a company that manufactured sleeper railway cars to be pulled by train locomotives. These two men also had something in common and that the way they became rich was from the fact they did not respect the rights of workers who worked for them. This mistreatment of the workers, which was made worse by a deep economic depression in the United States during the 1800s, resulted in the Pullman workers' strike in 1894. The workers involved in this strike demanded that a union be created to help protect the rights of workers who, if injured on the job during that time, were not provided with any work compensation related to the injuries sustained. They also demanded a wage increase as the cost of living began to rise and they could no longer afford to pay the rent they owed the Pullman Company, as most of them lived in the industrial town created by the company. This crisis would eventually conclude with the US government arresting one of the people that helped organize the strikes, Eugene Debs, who would continue to fight for the rights of workers and follow a path towards socialism. From this, you can see that capitalism values little government oversight and what a socialist government would offer, which would be full government oversight and state-controlled companies instead of companies being privatized by ordinary people. As you can see from the example of the Pullman crisis, this lack of offering your workers fair compensation for the work that they did 
and paying them little contributed to people like George Pullman becoming millionaires. This brings me back to the point I made in the beginning about inequality between the rich and the poor and the middle class, who are important to the growth of a state from a developing one to a developed state. The impacts of capitalism are still felt today, like the Kardashians who came out of nowhere and wield a lot of power and fame thanks to the capitalist society that exists in the United States and other Western nations. In a socialist society, the people who are famous have to be loyal to the party. And if that loyalty is ever questioned, they could end up in jail or worse, lose everything they own, including the fame which they have built up. Before I end this video about the dark side of capitalism, here's today's funny picture. I wonder what he is thinking. If you like this video and want to see future videos, hit the like button and also consider becoming a subscriber and turning the notification button on to be notified when a new video goes live. I will see you on the next Jan's Report.